Mr. Lamborn, you're up. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, Mr. Secretary, it's great to have you here. I remember when you sat on this side of the dais and you always had great penetrating questions, and I'm so happy to see you sitting where you're at now. It's easier on that side, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um, the subcommittee that I chair, the Subcommittee on Water, Power, and Oceans, has an active infrastructure agenda, already hearing testimony on a number of bills. And a subcommittee bill uh, is also going to be on the floor today that uh, Mr. McClintock has sponsored, uh, streamlining the permitting pro process for water and infrastructure projects. How do these kinds of bills that would remove bureaucratic obstacles and streamline America's water resource developments, including title transfer bills, like with the Bureau of Reclamation when they have hydropower projects, how do these fit into the department's goals of advancing the production of American energy and infrastructure improvement? Well, how we're, how we're approaching it, uh, one is, is that it's just not about funding, it's about process and how we, how, we, how we do our permits. Is if there's one small clerical error, it can go back in a loop, and we're, we added more money in our budget for, for permitting, but some of it's structural. Uh, and that's why we're convinced that looking at a more of a joint model, uh, as an example, uh, looking at a joint model would be a, what we call a joint management areas, where rather than the different bureaus are represented, they're grouped together into a NEPA process or a permit process where every bureau has representation. It's not a new concept. This is how we fight forest fires out west. And this, is, this is how the military operates under combatant commands. But looking at it more joint, so you don't have the problems up front with different biological opinions where we actually can work together as a government, oh, and have state input, uh, because a lot of the permitting process also involves state and local communities, which, which ha should have a voice. So uh, help and streamline the process to make sure it's fair, not arbitrary, consistent in, in, a, in approach, uh, but also understanding that there, are, there needs to be some flexibility uh, in, because the geology is different than what the geology is in the Appalachians or, or Colorado. And so you need the right people to understand the nuances in the different projects. Uh, again, being an advocate rather than an adversary uh, is a big change. Thank you, Mr. Secretary. And we'll work with you and your department on that. One specific line item in the budget I do want to ask you about has to do with 3D elevation program or 3DEP, 3D, uh, 3DEP. And that does concern me because it's important to have high quality 3D elevation data uh, to help resource management of forest, alternative energy, agriculture, other industries, including flood risk management. Um, so why are you proposing a reduction in that particular program? And I'm, I'm just curious uh, where the department is coming from on that. Well, it, it is, this is a balanced budget look at it. Uh, I'll, I'll work with you on it, uh, but we looked at the USGS, uh, where that program, I think, resides uh, on it. We did reduce USGS, not all programs. We consolidated, uh, called it, called it consolidated some on there. As far as the program goes, uh, we think there's, an also there's a good opportunity for public-private partnerships. In many of the cutting-edge technology, the government is not the lead anymore. Now, there's a lot of reasons why, and I think the government should be on the lead on some areas, but quite frankly, our processes, our acquisition, uh, the way that we approach technology, we are lagging behind okay. uh, some of the private enterprises. So we think there's an opportunity to public-private partnership on some of the 3D modeling, certainly the, some of the surveys, and some of the, some of the higher, higher technologies. Thank you. And lastly, uh, applications for permit to drill are supposed to only take 30 days. Under BLM, they take an average of 220 days. What can we do to speed up that particular process? We added money into it. Uh, I've also appointed an, a uh, counselor for energy affairs that is specifically looking at the, at the energy sector and the permitting process. One is you got to be fair. Uh, two is, is it's, not, it's not a free-for-all in that a public 
review is necessary on this, so we make sure the reclamation plan's in place, that it's the right drilling, we have a casing, et cetera. But we're, we're, we're actively looking at that, and our goal is to, is to reduce it, but we've added more money in the budget to look at it. Thank you very much. Thank you. You, you violated my 30-second rule there and got away with that 20-second rule. I, 